Hi, welcome. I want to show you some steps today that are a little bit different, but a lot of things that people have been asking me about. If you're a beginner starting with one stroke, there's some tech terminology, technology, whatever, that maybe doesn't make sense to you. So I thought I'd share that with you today. All right. So what happens is I'm getting ready to base coat my piece before you practice those strokes that you've been practicing. Okay. And there's a couple of things. I'm going to have a canvas. This is a 10 by 20, a foam plate. I use double loaders when I'm stroking, foam plates when I'm having to do finishes many times. My painter sponges, these are your best friends. These are Donna DeBerry painter sponges and they create backgrounds and lots more, okay? So this is valuable to you. We have them on onestroke.com. So go there and find those. And this is how they are. They're a sponge on one side and this, this rough finish on the other side. And no, they're not kitchen sponges. They really are really good tools, all right? This side is really rough. So if you base coat and you need to sand, you can take this and sand off all of the nubs and stuff that you might have on there. You also put your fingers here and as you work, it won't let your finger won't go through the sponge and make a finger mark all over. Okay. So let's put that to the side. And then we're going to be using some floating medium. Okay. So floating medium, this is a large bottle. We have a two ounce bottle and an eight ounce bottle. And we're gonna use that a lot for finishes and all that I wanna share with you. Okay, so let's get our painter sponges. These are one stroke painter sponges, Donna DeBerry designed. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna wet my fingers and just lay it on here. Now I wanna show you that I can do a couple of things. I can, if I wanna put, a little bit of white. This is all multi-surface paint. These are um, one of my favorite uh, paints. It's the same paint, just some different labels sometimes. And it does multiple surfaces, indoor, outdoor, glass, ceramic, metal. So just remember that multi-surface, folk art multi-surface. All right, so there's a different, couple of different things I can do. I can start out with a dark color, all right, just straight coffee latte, and I can go back and forth and quickly do a base coat or a, um, background on our canvas, okay? So I wanna show you, I'm coming straight across and this is just straight coffee latte, all right? Back and forth, back and forth. I'm trying not to get my underneath paper dirty right away. All right, so there we go, back and forth, all right? You can also take this and put a second coat on here. And what I want you to see is that it will make a nice, beautiful finish, all right? Now I can pick up some white and start going on up like an ombre. Look at this, lighter and lighter. And this blends, so you wouldn't want to go like this because you're going to have a hard line there. But see the difference in that and that? This is a blending. Let's come down a little bit closer. All right, so this blends all the way to a white. All right, and it comes down to, see it's an ombre from dark to light. Now, if, so if we have this hard edge, we're gonna have a hard time. So we can turn it this way with a darker edge and, and blend our color all the way up. But the way I showed you first, just go back and replay. The way I showed you first is what I'd like to have happen. Okay, from really light to dark, okay. And I can keep coming a darker coat down here. This darker coat down here. But if I want to blend it into some of the shades I already have, I turn it this way so this part of the sponge blends it. All right, it's darker and then it gets lighter. 
That's, that's better so you can see, right? All right, dark to light. Now, I'm going to take, I'm just showing you what I would do. So I want, I fold this in half until I can wash it and I put it inside my brush basin right here. But be careful not to let little drops get on this right now because it will ruin the whole finish, all right? So one little thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that if you use a blow dryer, all right, I'm gonna turn it on really quick. Now I just put a light coat, uh, a light kit with a blow dryer. I would blow dry it a little bit more. So what was funny is this little drop um, must have come off my sponge. So when I started blow drying it, it went just like that, I want you to see it goes all the way down to the canvas. So you can't just touch that up easily. All right, so be careful not to do that. You have to let it all dry and then you can finish it up. Okay, so now I wanna show you how we can stencil on here, all right? I wanna show you a couple of finishes. And one is, this is uh, one of my stencils. And I want you to know that before I lay it on anything else, I clean the back so it won't mess up anything. But I want you to see that you can also ombre a stencil, guys. And putting this on the background of your painting will make it so much different than anybody else's because you have a little bit of flair to it. So I'm taking the small sponge and I want you to see that I can add, I'm gonna go straight on here. So let me show you, just picking up this paint. This is dry. You pick up this coffee latte, you rub it in till there's nothing left on the plate and it's inside the sponge, okay? If you have, if you dip this into paint, you will mess up your piece, all right? So you could tape this down or you can hold it. Oops, I don't know where that paint came from. Okay, so I want you to see, I can tap it or I can make circles. Now this is gonna be the same color that's down here at the bottom. All right, I make circles. And if this isn't dark enough, we'll see if it's dark enough. I'm gonna take and tap and tap it. Or I can make circles. Now I'm gonna stop and say, I'm gonna hold this down tight. I'm gonna see if you can see it. Look how perfect that is. Now what's good about this is it didn't bleed underneath and it didn't bleed underneath because my technique of stenciling is so easy for us and as beginners. So this was the key. You get paint. Let me show you one more time. You get paint. You grab some of it. You rub it in rub it in and then it's all gone and then it stencils perfect for me so i did an ombre so i did darker and went to lighter but you can see that see that if you put them on hide this <laughs> if you do this pretty finish it's going to give you a really nice look now i also have another fun technique with the sponge now aren't these fun I want you to try it before you paint and you can make some amazing designs, all right? Now, I'm going to, because it's the underneath, it's prepping your canvas, it's just, just ombre your piece or, or just stencil, one color stencil, second color. But see, it, from it going from dark to light, it gives you light. And then I would come over here maybe and do more of the stencil. See, I could come up here and do a little bit more from right here. Circle, circle. All right. You see how fast this happens? 
It's a very quick, fast technique. Doing it my way. All right. So, so there's just a little bit of a finish. All right. I didn't put much on at that time. So that's the difference, but there's no bleeding. So you get crisp edges. All right. So this is what I want to do. I want to take this dark brown. I want some floating medium. This is a fun track. And guess what we're going to use? The wrappers from my canvas. The packaging right here is the packaging from the canvas. Don't throw it in the garbage. Save it. All right. So I'm going to take and get the medium and my brown. Okay. So I'm going to, I don't want to rig this over here. So I'm going to come all the way over here. And I don't care about this one here. I just don't want it to mess up the one we have over here. Okay, are you with me? Only do a small section at a time because we want this medium to be here. And you can use blending gel or this is floating medium. Folk art floating medium. It's right on my site. You can get everything I'm sharing with you. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to take this, all right, I'm going to rub it, and what this is going to do is make it look like leather, okay, and if you don't like it, we pick it up and redo it, so, okay, so look, I'm going to pick it up, lay another piece here, lift it, if I want another, I can lay it here, Okay, and you're going to get a really great faux finish. And when it's up on the wall, if you have a darker color, you could dress. It makes it look like leather totally. I would decorate these big million dollar homes and we would put uh, a dark brown and a burnt sienna and make a really beautiful finish. All right, so that's one way, but that's using medium in here. So I don't usually put medium. I'm going to squeeze that out a little bit. But I want to show you the other thing I can do is I go around to my edges. All right, I've got a glare more than I want. Okay, so watch what happens here. I can push on, put just the edges of my painting a little bit of dark brown. That's not showing. So let's pick up a little bit more. And it might be because I have a little bit of medium, which I don't want you to use medium if you're trying to do this finish. All right, so we may, we can push down hard on the sponge and then sponge away from that corner. All right, I can do this corner. All right. I can smooth out a little bit of this. I can come right on top of my edge there. Make it darker on the edge. There we go. So, so what I'm showing you is, let's go up higher. We have a few different techniques here. We've showed you. Okay, I showed you how to base coat with your sponge. I showed you how to stencil with your sponge, how to ombre base coat or solid. Okay, how to age the corners, how to make a saran wrap or a wrap for the um, faux finish in the background that's really quick and easy. I could have had more contrast than that, but I want to just show you that you roll on your floating medium or your glaze. We have glazes. You roll that on with paint in there. And you we have rollers too, by the way, that are, we faux finish with these rollers, which are really nice. Okay, so I can roll into the medium and the color, roll it on really quick, only do that much space at a time, lay your wrap on it, spread it with your fingers and lift it up. And see if I still, 
if I still want more, I want you to see what happens here. If I'm thinking, I wish, I, I'm, I'm not real thrilled about that. So I can take it off. Okay. So there's no mistakes, all right? And then I can lay this on here and leave it more intense. There we go. So see, see the finish? So I like you to see that there's no mistakes. It's easy, easy. Now what I do is I just paint big florals on here or take and stencil another, some words on here, but just have fun while you're doing it. This is just showing you how to use the painter sponges, that one Donna Dewberry painter sponges, stencils, which I have tons of stencils, floating medium, and look what you can do just that quick. All right, so let's see you paint something, share it with us on our Folk Art One Stroke, um, with our Folk Art One, One Stroke products, but I would love to see you go to Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group, okay? Official because lots of people make one stroke groups. Donna Dewberry's with an S official one stroke group. And we're excited to have you join us. And we have sales and all kinds of wonderful things going on that site quite often. So come join me. And until next week, you guys have fun trying this new product. Bye bye.